Hello and welcome back to another session of Flexavapi tutorials. In this video, you are going to learn about reply bots. The reply bot is the single most important feature of Flexavapi. If you want to have any kind of automations with your business, if you want people to contact you and ask you different questions, then you can set up different types of automations based on the keywords using message bots or the already approved templates using the template based bots. Okay. So let's quickly understand and see the preview of reply bots use case. This is my WhatsApp and here I am on the official Flexavapi channel. Now for this session, I'm going to act like a customer. So as a customer, I am asking and sending my first message as hello. Now this business automation is set using Flexavapi and Wapi has sent me the first automated message with few options here. Okay. As a customer, I would like to know about the use cases of Flexavapi. So I will press this button and that's where the second automation triggers on its own. You can see here it sends me all the use cases. So as a customer, I can also ask them, you know, the plan to buy Flexavapi. And it sent me another automated message that says that front end cost you $37. But if you want to buy our bundle plan, these are the options and this is the live CTA button link. Now let's check the third automation, which is get customer support. Again, it sent me another message with our support ticket email. Doesn't it sound cool? Now let's see and try with some different keywords. So let's try to have some different keywords here. Affiliate link. This message is sent using a keyword based automation. Okay. So this is the best use case example on how you can automate your customer conversations using reply bots. Now let's see how we set this exact message up and with all the setup. So let's break this down again. This is a welcome message. Okay. So you have to set up a welcome bot automation and how you can set this up. Give your reply bot a name, something like welcome bot automation. Put up your welcome message here. Okay. And in this option, you have three types of automation types to be selected from. Since this is a welcome bot automation, you have to select welcome reply. Okay. And if you already know how your customer is going to greet you with your first message, you can set up all the different buttons and keyword triggers here. For example, I use different spellings of hi, hello, hey with typos and uh, some info and help thing. Okay. So if my customer send me any of this message, this is my automation that is going to get triggered as the first message, which is a welcome message. Okay. A header is simply the option that you can use on the top of your body. And footer you can use for any kind of watermark or you can mention this option to use as a stop opt out. Okay. Now, if you break down this message again, it had three buttons, right? So we used these three buttons here. As soon as you write anything in this button, the system is automatically going to assign a button ID to you. Okay. This button ID is very important. You do not have to create this button ID on your own. As long as you write the text here, the system will automatically update you this button ID. Okay. 
So this is option one where you set a bot with reply buttons. And this is option two where you set up a button with CTA URL. Okay. So let me explain you the CTA URL option. If you see here, this has only one link, right? So this a message is sent and set up using option two. Okay. We have also added some quick help to understand what this option is about and also some quick instructions for option one. Similarly, we have also added some few lines for you to understand what is option two with some quick instructions. Very important thing to note here is if you use both the options, option one and option two, then always option one is going to get triggered. You cannot use the buttons and the CTA action at the same time. Therefore, you need to make a choice. But if you enter all the details in option one and two, then the system will automatically pick up option one as the default. Therefore, in our case, if you realize this message has ignored option two details and put up the option one details as three CTA buttons. Okay, so that's how you are going to set up your first CTA option. Okay, now let's click on go back. If you see here, our first button was by Flexawapi, right? So we have to set up another automation for by Flexawapi now. Click on edit so I can explain you. I gave this automation the exact same name as the button to remember it. Now what I will do since this is a button based automation, right? So I want to select my automation type as exact match. And what I will do in this case, I will copy the button ID from the welcome message and put that as a trigger button ID. Okay. I will write my body text, whatever I want to write here. Apart from that, I can give my header and footer if I want. And for this message, since it is a buy button, buy button plan, I will use this option as the CTA URL. I will ignore this option. Okay. So if you see the output of this message, when somebody clicked on buy Flexawapi, it sent me this message with the CTA button. So that's how you are configuring your option to reply bot automation. Now let's go back and see our second use case. I give this a name. I put up my body here and similarly I use my trigger button ID. Okay. So for you to make this even more clearer. Let's go to reply bot, edit my welcome bot automation and I am referencing about these button IDs. Okay. So you want to set up automation on the click of this button, use this button ID, copy that and put this button ID over here in the trigger button ID. Okay. If you also want to use this exact same message for other keywords, you can use comma separated along with this trigger button ID and now put up your cases that will trigger this message. So for example, people can ask me use cases, right? People can ask me useful examples. Okay. So I will simply put up different keywords that can trigger this message with the intent that customer is asking me what are the use cases for this? Okay. But one thing you should know, this currently is set on exact match. Therefore, this automation will not even execute because now the system is going to exactly match these, right? So in this case, you want to edit this message automation type to message contains. Okay. So that all your automations can be executed. So for this example, I am not going to touch my automation and I will remove the extra keywords. Similarly, I used 
I did not used any of the options because these two options are completely optional and I just use my body to explain all my use cases. Okay, so that's how you can set up different reply bots against different keywords and buttons that you get added inside the system as your message. Okay, I hope you have loved this and there is no limit to any amount of automations you can run inside. You can even have nested responses, which is response inside response. So for example, here I used explore use cases and there is no CTA button or action. So what this means, nested responses. Nested responses means inside this message, I can again give them different buttons and options and I can again set up different reply bots according to these options. So this menu can never end. Okay, so it depends on the type of automation you want to set. Oh, okay. So thank you for your attention. I hope you have understand, understood this concept. Have a nice day. Bye.